Hi, my name is Rich McFarland. I am the technical trainer for Philpiece Instruments, and today I wanted to go over the SDMN5. I know it's a little confusing to some of you, so I'm going to clarify this and make this real, 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 real easy. First thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and turn this on, and the next thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and zero, zero it out. But before that, I, I really want to make sure that I'm in inches of water column, so that would be INWC. If you're in PSI, obviously you're going to take the wrong measurements unless you're actually doing PSI or millibars or whatever you're going to be in or KPA. You want to be in inches of water column. So make sure that you're in inches of water column. And then you're just going to press and hold a zero and it's going to go ahead and zero it out. The next thing is uh, you can take a look and see where your readings are, P1, P2, the little arrow under here just by hitting this back and forth. You can see that. Now one thing I want you to pay attention to is Whatever reading you're at, P1, that's on top. You hit to go to P2, that's on top. So it's always on top. This other reading is your differential or your total. Okay, and I'm going to show you that. So uh, you also have a hold, and I'm, we're not going to go over that because that's pretty self-explanatory. So go ahead and connect your tubing to the top, and then you're going to take, um, let's just say take P1, doesn't matter where you hook it up, if you want to go up, we're going to go ahead and hook it up to the supply. And then I'm going to go ahead and hook up the uh, P2 to the return. But before I do that, I want you to note that it is reflecting P1 at the top, okay? Uh, 0 0.04, basically. It's bouncing around a little bit, but it's at 0 0.04. So I'm going to go ahead and take this and hook it into the return. Now. What I'm getting is a on the bottom is the difference or the total. So let's just, if we want to know what P2 is doing, we hit the P1, P2, and it's showing us at the top we have a negative, we see the minus sign over here, we have a negative 0 0.19, 0 0.17, 0 0.18, it bounces just a little bit, and we're looking at the, the bottom number, which is 0.23. So that is actually your total or your difference, depending on what you're, you're actually measuring, like I said. So, real simple, whatever you're, you want to see, hit P1, the P1 arrow is, is there, you see what's going on with P1, in this case, supply. Uh, you want to see what's going on with P2, you hit the, uh, the P2, P1 arrow, I mean a button, and then you see it over here on the uh, P2, the little arrow, and we're seeing a negative reading of 0.19, and it bounces to 0.18, so we're seeing that. But our total is always at the bottom. So hopefully that cleared it up for you. Um, you really only need to use one if you're going to do gas pressure or if you're just measuring one off, but if you want to do a total static pressure, that's the way to do it.